Hi guys, it's Martin here from Astronics. Welcome to our new video and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to change brushes in the older Bosch um, alternator regulators. Now there's a lot of regulators in the old type alternators and sometimes it might be hard to get the regulator but the only thing that could be a problem it could be the brushes only and it's very simple to change them they are very cheap and as a matter of fact there's only two types there's a very old type and there's a bit newer type and um, both of them regulators be fitted up to 2001 and that's really it, it they wouldn't be fitted any further but anything older than 2001 the dim regulators would be in use in the alternators so just let's move on and see how the brushes are changed now guys as i said in the older in the older Bosch alternators you have only two types of regulators you have these ones that fit on top of the alternator like that and hit the slippering from the side um, these are for the older types they'd be 92 before 92 94 95 maybe um, up to 96, 97, some of them, but they'd be generally older, and a lot of them, a lot of them would be used in, still in tractors and in vintage cars. But they are still quite common, and we still change them up to this day. Um, I'm going to show you how to change the brushes as well, because um, simply there's so many different types of these regulators. But most of the time, what the problem is, the brush is simply gone. Now this regulator is new. I don't have the old one to show you guys. So, what? I'm just going to. make the brush short now that's ba that's basically it um let's say the brush is gone one of them or both of them and you decided to replace them or you can just replace them maybe if you think they are going short and you don't want to have any trouble now, this is the bit newer type these types they are the so-called internal fan there's a plastic there's a big plastic cover going on top of each alternator with them regulators so you won't be able to see them from the top um, where these ones are you, they are directly being seen from the top and there's only two screws two screws holding it now two screws are holding this one as well but as i said the only difference is that this one is not v visible from looking at the top of the alternator because what's over it is the plastic plastic cover um these ones are a bit more difficult to change um so that's what we are going to start off now let's say for instance this brush is gone as well now at this regulator the soldering point of the brushes are here at the end one here and one inside there now it's not very easy to get in there but we'll manage anyway um, very important thing about it is that simply unsoldering the brush won't do the job because they are crimped at the end so what you want to do is you want to get yourself a drill like this one and the drill bit now this is it. this drill bit is quite large I'd like to use a smaller one but this is the smallest this drill will take uh, what you will do is just get your drill in the center of the brush and drive the drill through the center of the brush simple as that now see brush popped out and we have our spring save that now, as you see, inside, there's no brush. Now, I place our regular in device to make it a bit easier. Now, you guys want to be very careful not to pierce through the thing straight out to damage the back part of it. Um, do the other one. Same situation here. We saved our spring and we just dr drive the drill through the center of the game. Now, that's our regulator. Tap out the dirt. Now, guys, that's it. I know can you see it, but our brushes are drilled through, there are two tr throughout holes in it, so we can feed the brushes in now. Um, while drilling it you don't want to put too much pressure and as I said I recommend using a small drill bit as possible because the lead of the brush is tiny, even a mil and a half, two mil drill, drill bit will do the trick for you. I had to use a big one, so I had no other choice. Now guys we're going to fit a new brush into it, 
simply get your spring make sure everything every the old door is tapped out of it we'll fit our spring in into the brush box now good thing about the new brushes for them them regulators is that they come with a steel point so it's easier to drive them through the brush box so basically just make the point straightener and we just try to feed it in now our holes are quite big so it will come out very easily get myself a pliers pull it out and make sure the brush is in the spring and that's it now all we have to do is to solder it now what I found the easiest is to simply wrap the steel thing around the brush so it's going to be holding it for us and what we do now is we just put a point of solder on this gently in the vise not to break it have our solder iron nice and hot and just try to put down here with the solder to get the heat transferred And as you guys see, we have a great joint there. Our brush is soldered to the point. Now, as you see, there's still a hole in it because I drilled it too big, but there's nothing to be worried about that. That could be left like that. Um, it'll do no harm. We just simply now, we can either break off the, that remaining wire or we can just cut it off and our brush is fitted in. See, it's perfect now after fitting the brush always make sure it's nice and free as you see this one springs back quite nicely and now it's the time for the second brush same method we fitted the spring and now it's the time for the brush now what I haven't mentioned actually fitting the other brush is that it's see this little insulator, black insulator, just remove that because these insulators they are quite hard and they are kind of in a way of brush floating easily in the brush box so just remove the steel insulator, the, the black insulator, all what you want is just the brush itself now same method feed in the brush now when the lead is out the other side get your sort of pliers and just pull it in now just pulled in, comes in like that, the brush again has to be fitted in the spring and the same story basically, get yourself that wire wrapped around something on the regulator that will just make it that bit easier to solder it and again in the vise gently nice and hot soldering iron no this one isn't easy to get at from this angle soldering iron bit of a heat on that feeding a bit of a solder and we have another joint made cut off the remaining leg as you can see this might not be looking as pretty as the other one because it's a bit more awkward spot but it is very well soldered to the point where it was soldered and that will, will, will not come off, that won't come off and as you see again make sure that the brush is nice and free that springs back 2-3 times and that's really it you see we have new brushes in our regulator and off a lot that saves you the trouble of buying a new regulator and identifying getting the right one for your vehicle because there's so many different ones where the brushes are all the same for these types the types were fit straight into the slippery now the story with these brushes is a bit different because 
you don't have to drill them through, they are just simply soldered. So what we'll do is, we get soldered iron, just hit the back of it, and often enough, the actual spring will push the brush out. So that's our spring, nothing else. Now at the back, this point is, there's a hole there, but this is this point is blank at the moment. So what we'll do, what's the easiest thing to do is to heat that up, where the brush was, and give it a tap, give the give the regulator a tap, so the hole, the, the solder will fall through the hole. And now we have our new brush here, we feed our spring inside, now it's not that easy to fit them but the easiest way I find is just make sure the lead of the brush is straight and just point out the end of it with your fingers, now feed it through the center of the spring, and as you feel it hits the bottom, start turn it like that and there you go out it comes to the back now you wrap the lead around one point here and in a situation like that that won't stay like it because the spring in these types is stronger so what I'll recommend using is just to use a pair of pliers to hold it for yourself like that and I put the pliers in the vise so the regulator won't move on me Now get yourself your sword and iron. Heat it up slightly just to get the solder moving. And put a drop or two of solder on it. Now we can remove our pliers. Pliers are removed. Again, the remaining wire can be cut and make sure the brush is nice and free see guys they are almost they are the same length really and this is it again saves you a lot of time and money and trouble buying the regulator just by replacing the brushes in it now guys I hope you enjoyed the video and as I said it's a simple job and there's nothing to it really all what you need is just brushes and soldering iron and this will replace the brushes and often enough that's often enough that solves the problem of, of buying new rail going looking for the new regular if only the brushes are the problem i hope you go ahead and do the job see how you get on yourself um thanks let me know let me know in the comments how you get on and thanks for watching